All right, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's uh, Mr. Kester Amos again. We are here in Delta State today. Uh, we're building a poultry farm strictly for poultry, broilers and layers. So we are going to show you the buildings, the design, and also how we plan to operate this farm here in Delta State. I've been on it for quite a while, but I felt uh, it should get to this stage before I make a video of it. So hopefully we'll bring another video at the completion, but uh, at least the work is still ongoing. So you should see what we're doing and how we are progressing with the job here. So behind me is the broiler house. This is going to be the entrance. We have two entrances to the broiler house, one here and one at the airstream. So if you're walking around, if you want to go out from the airstream, you can do that. If you want to come back to the beginning part, you can do that. So this is the design for it. You can see it's quite a massive structure. Uh, this is designed to accommodate seven to 8,000 broilers at a go. So the plan here is to raise the day-o chicks, which are the pullets, and when they get to the point of lay, we'll move them into the laying house. So this is strictly for the broiler and brooding of the layers. And while the layer house is on this side, we'll be having the cages to introduce the birds. So this is what it looks like. We are beginning to roof the broiler house, but we are done with the roofing for the layer house. So we're going to take you into the layer house. And I've also built a store in front of the layer house where we can store the eggs. So you go in, pick, it, pick your eggs and store them in the storehouse within the broiler structure. So that's how, uh, within the layer structure, sorry, that's how it's designed. So the plan is to bring in the layers here and after we raise them for 15 weeks, we move them to the cages. So when they are in the cages, for the next 52 weeks, they are going to be laying in the cages. We'll use this part for broiler production. So we we'll continue running our broiler uh, project on the deep litter house. And also uh, the laying cages will be with the laying beds in the layer house. So we'll take you to the layer house. <coughs> So this is going to be the main entrance to the layer house. You pass through here to the layer house and this side is going to be for the store. So we'll have uh, something like a gate here for you to have access to this part of it. But for the attendants, they don't have to come through this part. It is only for the administration uh, uh, staff while this part is going to be the farm attendance so this is a doorway for them to go in. so you can pass here and get into the layer house so you can see the design for the main house is different from that of the broiler house so these are the gates where the beds uh the cages will be standing we have two rooms. one here and the other one is here so this is the center part which is the walkway you can easily move along this path to attend to your birds on this side and on this side. While you use the other walkway for the birds on the other side and the extreme walkway for the birds on that side. So that's how it's designed and this is the door to the administration building. So through this path, you come in, you go out, you pick your eggs and you bring in the eggs. So we're going to have uh, a staff which is going to be resident here and the egg crates will be arranged in this part while the staff um, table and chairs or whatever will be here so you don't need to pass through that side to get the eggs so when the staff the attendants collect the eggs they'll just come in through this part and drop the eggs here so you don't have to take them to another building entirely so that is how it's designed so you have both the administration administrative part of the uh, layer house mashed together with the main part of the uh, structure. So there's going to be a door there. Of course, this door is always going to be closed until you have anything to do here with the administration uh, building. So that's how it's designed. So we are just about to cast this part of it. We are done with the casting of the broiler house. We're doing the roofing. We have completed the roofing of the layer house and we are about to cast this. So after casting this, we are going to make it very smooth so that we will have our scraper and everything. When the beds begin to lay, as their droppings come down, we will flush it to the airstream. So now we are just going to walk you through to the airstream. So you can see the design is very nice. 
So this is the center part we work from. And we have openings at the extreme end. If you look at this, down the extreme, you see there are some openings. And through that opening, uh, we can have the manure flushed out. So that's how the building is designed. It's very nice and easy design. Um, you can see the workers are still on their game. Mr. Roland, you want to say something? So that's my boss. He's the owner of the farm. He's a young man, uh, but don't mind his looks. He's actually an elder, but looking very young. You understand what I mean? He's from Delta State. I know Delta people don't grow old easily. They look very young even in their 90s. So if you're standing with me now, you think it's my age mate. It's not. This man is almost 15 years older than me. But he's looking almost like me. So uh, we're working for him and we're doing a perfect job. So thank you. Uh, for those following, please do not forget to subscribe as we continue to bring you great content. Click a like on the uh, a bell, uh, click a like on the video and also click on the bell icon so subsequently when we bring more of this video you will get a notification so until then thank you god bless you and bye bye